Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sarantanov, President of the United Republic of Obscurium. And I come to you today to talk to you about the Micro Euro Summit 2023. Now, for those of you who do not know what the Micro Euro Summit is, here's a quick recap. It all started in 2021 when I and a friend traveled to Czechia. We found a nice castle there and we asked the castle owner if we could hold a micronational conference there. He agreed and hence um, we got uh, Arthur D. Tourneau, the Archduke of Dictionary, involved and held the summit there the next year, in this year in 2022. And this Micro Euro Summit 2022 was a great success. Everybody loved it and at the end we all agreed to reconvene in 2023 next year. And so here we are. And I'm going to give you, and so here we are, and I'm going to give you a few a vital pieces of information regarding the Micro Euro Summit. Um, most of this is going to be from uh, a document uh, which sums up all the most important info and from our website, but um, a lot of people don't like to read through documents and websites and such. So this is for your convenience. So you may listen to me explain it instead. So let us begin by stating that the date on which the summit is going to be held is the 15th of July, 2023. And it's going to be held in Hishe in Czechia, just at just the same place it was held at this year. Uh, more specifically, it's going to be held in the Hishe Castle Brewery but well, we are also going to go to, to the castle for a tour. Uh, this was a, there was a room in the brewery we used this year, and we are also most likely going to use this room again. It's the brewery hall. It's very nice. Um, it's not guaranteed that we're going to use it again, but there will be a nice room uh, available for us uh, regardless. So that is that at least is guaranteed. Um, now, there have been a couple of changes since last year, um, since, or since this year, I keep saying last year, uh, but there have been a couple of changes. First of all, the most important change is there's a conference fee now, the conference fee being 25 euros, um, which has to be paid by every attendee. And there's only a limited number of attendees, that number being 20. So only 20 attendees can come to the event. There's but there is also a second category of participants, that being guests. Now, the difference between guests and attendees is the following. Attendees are supposed to be members of the official micronational delegations, such as the president or his foreign minister. And, uh, you know, the people are really interested in micronationalism. Can't, it doesn't even have to be micronationalist. If you're very interested in micronationalism and you want to attend as an attendee, you can also do so. Um, the conf in the include in the conference fee is guaranteed access to the event, and also um, the ticket a ticket for the castle brewery tour and for for the castle brewery tour and the castle tour. Um, last uh, this year we bought our tickets on our own, but this year uh, next year we're going to do it. Uh, we we go, we are going to the, the the organizing committee is going to buy the tickets for everybody, so it makes the whole process a lot easier. Now, guests <clears throat> do not have to pay to attend or to, to, to participate, I should say, but they also do not have guaranteed access to the event. What I mean by that is the room we are going to hold the event in is not <clears throat> ginormous. It's not a big conference hall, it's a brewery hall. And therefore, I predict that only about 30, maybe a bit more people are going to fit into that room Therefore, if we have 20 attendees and 10 guests, uh, we will simply have to close the room down for any other person who wants to participate. So if there are more guests than that, um, we will have to deny them access, which is why access is not guaranteed for them. So this is more something for um, parents, uh, companions who are not really interested in micronationalism, who are just accompanying someone who is going there as an attendee. Also, guests have to pay the, for the tours by themselves. They have to get their tickets themselves and such, but again, they are also more than welcome to participate in our tour, of course, but they just have to pay for everything themselves. Um, 
the uh, fee is going to be used to pay for not only going to be used to pay for the tours, it's also going to be used to pay for the co postcards and the brochures, which all attendees uh, will receive. Last um, this year, the organizing committee paid for all of that. So, but I think it's only fair that uh, you know we split the costs among all of us. Uh, we ourselves also paid the uh, the conference fee. So I think that's that's a that's a fair thing. Twenty five euros isn't too much to ask for. But the twenty five euros will have to be paid uh, upon registration uh, within forty eight hours uh, via PayPal. Now you can also pay via bank transfer in special cases. Please message us for that. Um, but uh, yes, uh, you're only going, your registration is only going to be official once you pay. If you don't pay, no reg the registration isn't going to be official. You can register by simply writing an email to us. Email address will be in the description, uh, just as, uh, as well as a website link. And also the document, well, that the document is on the website as well, but the, it's all going to be in the description. So you can message us and ask for the form, and then we will send you the official form. And once you fill in the form, please send us the money for all attendees you, you wish to register in uh, using the form. And uh, once you have sent us the money um, and the, the form, of course, uh, you will be receiving a booking code for uh, the two accommodations we have reserved, which is another major change. Uh, this year we had one accommodation, the brewery hotel, uh, but next year we're going to have a second one, the hotel right next door, which was already booked out this year, but we started early this year uh, with our um, planning. So everything is reserved until the 28th of February, 2023. So until that day, only SNDs and other participants can book rooms at the hotels, at these two hotels. There are other hotels as well once they run out. But as of now, we have three rooms in the brewery hotel left and one room in the uh, other hotel left. So you can still get rooms. Uh, after the 24th of February, those rooms will no longer be uh, reserved for us. So if you register after that, uh, you might have to find a room on your own or if all the other rooms are already taken. But we will let you know once that happens on the website. Now, this, this doesn't mean that we are booking the rooms for you. You are merely getting the reservation code. You are responsible for booking your own rooms. We are just giving you the information to book them and recommendations for which rooms to book and which accommodation to use. Um, and we are also not responsible for canceling your bookings. So if you get sick, if you want to cancel your booking for whatever reason, you have to do so yourself. We are not responsible for that. Regarding refunds, and that's the refund for the conference, uh, the conference fee. So uh, they will uh, conference fee can be refunded until the 20th of February. After that date, no, there will be no refunds. That's it. I also uh, I will also add that members of the press uh, are allowed to register free of charge. The press form is also on the website, um, and members of the press have a guaranteed access to uh, the event. They don't have uh, they also would have to pay for their own tour tickets, but you they have guaranteed access to the event free of charge and to the conference and everything. Um, this also counts for micronational news agencies, but if you register um, your micronational news agency, it will be viewed as a member of the press and not as a micronational delegation. So just keep that in mind. Um, the registration will still be open after the 28th of February until the 6th of June. Um, but after the 6th of June, uh, the official list will be finished. So you can still register last minute, like two days in advance, uh, but your delegation will not be on the official list uh, and you, your delegation will be, uh, will be uh, seen as guests. Uh, they will be given the guest status, so no guaranteed access to the event. It is very unlikely that the room will be completely filled up and then you will be denied access to the event, but just in case, um, we have uh, those regulations. So basically, first come, first serve, book now, 
and guarantee yourself a place at the Micro Euro Summit 2023. Um, there, I should also mention how to get to this location. Um, there are two ways to get there by car, which is quite easy. Just enter the address in your phone or navigation system and it'll take you there. Um, or by train. This is the option for people who don't have cars. Um, now, I don't. Last time I checked the um, the schedule for the train schedule for uh, the summer of 2023 had not been released yet. But once it's released, uh, it will be on our website. Um, that, that being the train schedule for trains uh, traveling uh, going to Hishe um, on the, on Friday and Saturday of the conference um, from Prague and Kalovivari. Prague being the capital of Czechia and Kalovivari being the next biggest uh, city. It's very easy to get to Hishe by train. Actually, uh, a lot of people did it during the last conference. I myself travel by train uh, from Hishe, so. Um, I can definitely uh, recommend it. It's uh, very easily easily doable and very cheap as well because it's Czechia. Um, and if you have any questions uh, in that regard as well, don't hesitate to ask us. Um, I should also mention that this again event will once again be hosted by yours truly, and also my amazing co-host uh, Arthur C. Dertino the Archduke of Dictionary. There's also the matter of the schedule um, to talk about. So the, the preliminary schedule is based on our experiences from last year. So on the 14th of, of July, that's Friday, there will be an open dinner. So that's basically just everybody who is already present sitting around uh, either in the beer garden, outdoors, if the weather is nice, or inside in the restaurant and eating and talking until late night. I don't know. Uh, if you are if you have a hotel room in Hishe, you're there. Um, it's definitely worth uh, coming and um, talking to other people. It's, very, it's a very nice experience. And there might also be a little night walk through Hishe, which is also very lovely uh, afterwards. Uh, but that's not an official part of the event. That will be uh, that will be starting on the 15th of July, Saturday, the main conference day. Um, breakfast is from eight to nine uh, in in the brewery hall, which is also most likely going to be a conference room. Um, uh, from nine to ten, uh, the conference preparations will take place, meaning we will put up the display tables, the projector, and get into our uniforms and dresses and suits and so on, and prepare ourselves. And then from 10 to 1300 hours, they are going to be the presentations um, with breaks, of course. After that, a one hour lunch break until from 13 to 1400 hours. And from 14 to 1700 hours, uh, around that time, they're going to be the activities, um, the castle tour, the brewery tour, and the photo shoot. Uh, afterwards, at around 1900 hours, we'll have uh, our official dinner with uh, the award ceremonies. And on Sunday, we might also have some more activities, but on the activities, uh, we aren't 100% sure uh, what we're going to do yet. So all of this is preliminary. It is subject to change, but from our experience last year, this is how it's going to happen most likely. And last but not least, I should also mention Microcon in Belgium, uh, more specifically in Ypres in Belgium which is going to be here held in 2023 as well, just a bit later though, in uh, August. Now, the existence of uh, Microcon in Europe does not negate uh, the purpose of the Micro Euro Summit, um, simply due to the fact that the Micro Euro Summit is uh, um, more of a smaller and uh, far cheaper version than uh, Microcon. Uh, Microcon, of course, being a big event uh, with a lot of big micro nations that add to it, but also a large conference uh, attending attendance fee. Uh, of course, the Hishe Summit will always be, um, as long as we do it in Hishe at least, it will always be smaller. Uh, it will always it, it does have a limited number of attendees uh, as long as we're doing it there. And of course, it's 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 rather cheap. Uh, both the hotels and the, the conference fees will remain cheap. Um, but uh, the experience is still great and fantastic. Both events are great and 
will be great. And therefore, I hope to see you in Hishi in 2023. Again, if you have any further questions, website and email is down in the description. Feel free to message us if, if I didn't answer your questions here. And if you can't find any answers to your questions on the website in the FAQ section. Uh, we will always respond to you very fast and we're always happy to help you. Um, so you can come and partake in this amazing event that is the Micro Euro Summit. So that will be all then. Cheers.